All right, boys. Welcome to the state of the art Trump gaming room. Wow, Donald, this is incredible. I think mine's better personally. I hate rooms that look more like a place to hold a rave than to play games. Sounds like your brokenness is showing, George. You just can't afford a setup this nice. I've seen your room, just a bunch of games on shelves like you're the angry video game nerd. Well, yeah, I actually like owning my games, Donald. Folks like me are helping to preserve games. Those digital copies can be taken away one day. Well, anything beats playing in Joe's room. That was one of the worst experiences of my life. Really, it was that bad? That's malarkey. My gaming setup is simply unrivaled. Barack was just jealous. Oh, don't worry, guys. I got proof. I meant to send it in the presidential group chat a while back, but I forgot. Look at how putrid this shit is. Holy shit, is he using an ironing board as his desk? And some sort of Monopoly game board as his mouse pad? What the actual fuck, Joe? And that speaker setup, good God almighty. It's not that bad, guys. Joe, look at all those wires. You're gonna set your house on fire. Joe, that's just awful. Oh, and Obunga, I see you finally upgraded to an iPhone. Yeah, Michelle wouldn't stop bitching at me that having an Android makes us seem like we're low class, whatever that means. I miss all the customization options on my old phone. This one's taking a while to get used to. Man, you sound whipped, Barry. Don't worry, George. His people are used to being whipped. Oh, shit. Barry's about to drop bombs on you, Donald, and not the kind that he used on civilians in Afghanistan. I don't know. At this rate, I think he might actually drone strike Donald. But very old friend, you know I was just kidding, right? Barack, calm down. Imagine you're making love with Michelle. You're not helping, Joe. Oh shit, Obama's rage is shifting the very ground beneath us. I'm sorry, Obama, please. I'll do anything. Just don't kill me. I'll never say anything racist ever again, I promise. I don't think that's enough, Donald. You might be screwed. We're all gonna be screwed if he doesn't calm down. The whole place is gonna crumble apart. Oh, thank God, someone's here to save us. What is going on in here? Donald, I told you you could only have friends over to play the video games if you kept it quiet. Oh, honey, I'm sorry, you see... No! I don't want the excuses. It's bad enough I'm busy raising Baron all by myself while you run for the president or sit in your room all day playing stupid video games. That's not true. I look after my son all the time. Do you even know how old he is? Uh, 12? No. 13? No. He's gotta be like 14 then. No, Donald, our son is 17. 17? Since when? Ugh, you're ridiculous. Anyways, you don't deserve it, but I brought you boys some of the homemade cookies. The recipe is a Slovenian classic, passed down through generations. Th thanks, Melania. We have a bigger problem than food, though, you see? Did you say cookies? Oh, Melania, I love when you bake for us. So much better than those nasty vegetables Michelle makes me scarf down. You're welcome, Barack. I'll let you boys get back to whatever you're doing. Just please keep it down. Yes, yes ma'am. And Donald, you give me $10,000 and a foot massage tonight. Y yes honey. Okay, I'm going to go shopping using your credit card. Have fun, you guys. Uh, well that just happened. I can't believe it. You're the whipped one, Donald. Sh shut up, Barack. Anyways, we, we cool, homie? As long as you don't call me your homie and promise not to be racist anymore, then yeah, we cool. Well, with all of that behind us, Donald, Tell us why you invited us over in the first place. You don't remember? Tell me, George, what day is it? Uh, Thursday the 14th. Why? Oh shit, Donald, don't tell me. You dropped $100 on the premium version of Mortal Kombat 1, didn't you? Damn right I did! I've been playing it since before you guys got here. It's so fun! Donald, how are you supposed to run a campaign and pay your legal fees if you keep buying video games? Uh, I'm a billionaire. I'll be fine, George. Famous last words, you'll probably get bored of this game in a week, just like you did Street Fighter 6. And Tekken 8. Yeah, but this is different. You can fucking mutilate and decapitate your opponents. Tear them open and rip their spines out. All sorts of gnarly stuff. Sweet Mother Mary, I don't like the sounds of that one bit. This game sounds like the kind of thing to make children act more violent. Okay, you can keep that nonsense in the 90s where it belongs, Joe. Video games don't make people violent. 
I mean, look at me. I play plenty of violent video games and I'm fine. How many civvies have you drone striked again? That's different. It's not like I'm a cold-blooded serial killer or anything. Enough talk. I want to beat one of you. I have two PCs set up, so we'll take turns. Joe, I'm calling you out. You'll be the first of my victims. Oh, great. Wish me luck, guys. Yo, is that Megan Fox? Wow, surprised you recognize someone over the age of 13, Joe. But yeah, they got her to play Natara. Her voice acting is probably just as bad as Ronda Rousey's from MK11. Yes, she ruined Sonya in that game. No wonder they didn't make her playable in this one. Anyways, I'm going with my fellow TV star, Johnny Cage. Uh, I guess I'll go with this cool dude with the sword. Okay, now why am I picking another person? That's your cameo. A new feature in this game. You can call them in to assist in battle. That sounds kind of complicated. Uh, I'm going with this guy because he reminds me of you, Barack. I don't know whether to be offended or flattered. Hey, that's got to be racist. Why does Joe get a pass and I don't? Well, Joe's a goofball with dementia. He probably doesn't have any ill intent in what he's saying like you do. I call bullshit. Joe has been around since slavery was legal. He's got to be racist, too. Two, are you admitting something, Donald? Uh, shut up so we can focus on the fight. Oh, I'm so screwed. Donald's not that good at these games, Joe. Maybe you'll get beginner's luck. Time to find out, I guess. Take this, Joe. Shit, I can't even move. Ouch, that smarts. This Kenshi guy sucks balls. Joe, you literally are new to the game. You can't blame the character. Donald, go easy on him, will ya? Never. Joe won't get better if you treat him like a baby. I got a hit. Now, how do I do one of those Hadouken things? Wrong game, Joe, but you just activated your fatal blow. Does that mean I win? I mean, nobody could survive that. Well, in Mortal Kombat, you can shrug off broken ribs like it's nothing. Suck it, Joe. Damn, Elsa over there just froze me somehow. Damn it. One round down. Time to kick your ass again, Joe. Joe, if you click right bumper on your controller, you can call in your cameo fighter. This isn't fair. I called you an Obama and you didn't even do anything. First off, Joe, his name is Jax, he's not me. Secondly, if they get hit, they're canceled. I think Donald needs to be canceled in real life. Well, it'll be one of our turns here soon, Barack. There we go. Get destroyed, Brandon. Damn it, I fucked up the fatality. Rematch me, Donald. I will win this time. Someone's got a death wish. You two fine with us going another round? Depends. Are you fine with the fact that I went another round with your mom last night? Damn, you got him, Georgie. I can't wait to kick your ass next, George. Let me just deal with this little piss ant first. Oh shit, Joe is cooking. Lucky hit Joe, but button mashing won't win you this fight. There you go, get him, Barack. I'm just gonna ignore you now, Joe. Damn it, Joe, stop spamming the same move. I'm just hitting you with my super secret combo, don't hate. Holy shit, Joe actually won a round. Well, of course I did, I'm a pro player. You literally just asked how to do a Hadouken in a Mortal Kombat game. Face it, you got lucky. God damn it, Joe, seriously stop with this bullshit. Some real riveting gameplay right here. I feel like I'm watching Sonic Fox play. Well, who do you think taught me? Hunter introduced me to that Sonic Fox dude when I was his chaperone to a furry convention. You literally just found out what Mortal Kombat was like five minutes ago. How can that be possible? 
He, he really just did a brutality on me. Well, I'm sure Donald's pride and ego are forever shattered, so now it's our turn. Congratulations, Joe. Thanks, Obama. We should try doing the towers on here, too. We all know why you'd want to do the towers, George. I know who I'm going to play. Same here. You aren't ready to feel the wrath of Barack Obama. Oh, shit, they really did put you in the game. Now, that looks nothing like you, though. I got a rep ICE, of course, one of the best things to come from my presidency. Yeah, maybe if you like treating Mexicans like shit, like you, you Republicans do. Me, though, I got to go with my brother Darius as my cameo. Barack, how the hell are you going to say shit about Mexicans when you were the first to put them in cages? I have no idea what you're talking about, annoying orange. You ready to feel death's cold embrace, Barry? I really hope you don't go Mr. Freeze on us with the puns, George. Oh, I have like 20 more lined up. You got this, Barack. Show him who's boss. First hit. Nice. Come on, George. Don't lose to a sissy Democrat. Ice to meet you, Barack. Blocked it. Take your bad puns elsewhere, Georgie. Uh, don't give me the cold shoulder, Barry. Jeez, man, these are horrible. Don't worry. Mr. No Child Left Behind over here is going down. Face it, Barack. You don't have a snowball's chance in hell of defeating me. Fuck. Gotta pop off my fatal blow if I want any chance of winning. I see what you're trying to do, Barry. It won't work. Say your prayers. Get it, Icy. Uh, okay, chill out with the jokes, George. They're horrible. Chill out, you say? Damn it, now I'm doing it too, completely on accident. Stomp his ass, Barack, just like we did to Mitt Romney in 2012. Oh, don't even bring up that rhino loser. So glad he's retiring from the Senate. Shit, he turned me into a damn popsicle. Mmm, popsicles. I wish the ice cream truck would come. Shit, George, don't let him manhandle you like that. Damn it, he hit me with his fatal blow. This is crazy. Elsa would never do something so brutal. That's just the tip of the iceberg, Joe. The Grand Master of the Lin Kuei isn't going to mess around. Ouchie. This round is down to the wire. No. Good job, Barack. There's still hope. Yeah, but I used my fatal blow just to confirm the kill, so now I can't use it next round. Ah, shucks. Well, he can't use his either, at least. Oh my God, this is just disgusting to look at. Yeah, we're gonna have to throw a filter over this in post or something because YouTube will definitely demonetize it. Damn, he just spun Darius around like Bowser in Super Mario 64. Goaded game, by the way. Yeah, maybe if you're five years old. I like five-year-olds. Joe, be quiet, you creep. George, why do you hate games that are made by Nintendo or anything that's not Apex Legends, COD, or Halo? I'm so sick of all these people that think they're gamers. No, you're not. Most of you are not even close to being gamers. I see these people saying, I put well over 100 hours in this game. It's great. That's nothing. Most of us can easily put 300 plus hours in all our games. I see people who only have a Nintendo Switch and claim to be gamers. Come talk to me when you pick up a PS4 controller, then we can be friends. Also, dear women, Pokemon is not a real game. Animal Crossing is not a real game. The Sims is not a real game. Mario is not a real game. Stardew Valley is not a real game. Mobile games are not real games. Put down the baby games and play something that requires challenge and skill for once, like Call of Duty or Rainbow Six Siege. Sincerely, all of the actual gamers. George, what the fuck? You were ranting so much. I don't think anyone even paid attention to that awesome fatality I just performed. Sorry, just thinking of all those beta male and girly games makes my blood boil. How are you going to hate on Nintendo, though? They're the goats. I mean, I remember when they were just a playing card company way back in 1889. Of course you do, Joe. You dinosaur fuck. OK, Donald, for that whack shit you said earlier, I want to kick your ass on here. You're welcome to try, Barack. I mean, I mopped the floor with you, Donald. I'm sure Barry can, too. Shut up, Joe. You just used cheap tactics. The game was rigged like the 2020 election. Barack, prepare to get punched in the nuts by Johnny Cage. 
Well, I'm going to use the Deception Duo and bring out my man Havoc, and for my cameo, Shujinko. Ew, that dude looks like more of a corpse than me. Just wait till you see what he can do with his body. It's fucking brutal. Damn Donald, pick a stage already. Sorry, I'm trying to pick a worthy grave for Obama. Someone's rather cocky for getting beat by Sleepy Joe. I told you that match was rigged. Now's my comeback, just like I'll do in 2024. That Johnny Cage fella needs to up his sunglasses game. A good pair of aviators uh, wouldn't have broken that easily. I bet money on Obama winning this fight. Really, George, you two? Some Republican you are. Nut punch. Ooh, I felt that one. So why does this dude keep ripping his head and arms off? That's just what he does. I don't think there's an explanation for it, at least not in this new timeline. He just likes causing chaos. OK, and who's that dude behind you that looks like Mr. Miyagi from Karate Kid? That's Shujinko. He can copy the ability of any fighter in the MK universe, which is what he does as a cameo. I can use the opponent's moves against them. You know, one time I coughed up a lot of blood just like that Havoc dude. Might want to go to a Dr. Joe for real. Oh, shit. What? How did that not hit? Holy fuck, that was so lucky. Now that was all skill, baby. It won't save you, though, Donald. I'm going to win this round. In your dreams, Barack, along with making love to men. Hey, those letters were never supposed to get out. That was a long time ago. Fuck. All right, Barack, just one more round, and you can do it. Obama, I didn't know you were actually good at Mortal Kombat. Well, yeah, I've been playing these games since the first one hit arcades. I spent many a quarter trying to beat Shang Tsung. I'm sure Donald wishes you told him that before he decided to fight you. Obama may have won the battle, but the war will be mine. You know, I think I actually did play one of these games on my GameCube a long time ago, and there was this Dragon King. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure his name was Obama, actually. Oh, brother. Joe, you're thinking of Onaga, the Dragon King, not Obama. Shit, I would have went along with it, Barry. Obama, the Dragon King, sounds badass as hell. Can we stop with the sidebar conversations and pay attention to me about to beat Obama? I don't think so. Oh, shit. No. My fatal blow was supposed to counter yours. Damn, Shujinko just crushed his throat. All right, let's see how to do this fatality. Holy shit. This is gut-wrenching. I'm going to be sick. Please don't puke on my carpet, Joe. This dude is performing a fatality on himself. Holy shit, what is he doing? Fucking epic. I'm glad I don't have a weak stomach because this shit is so realistic. Maybe a little too realistic. That sure was fun. I think we should call it a night though. Michelle's gonna want me home in time for dinner. Well, I can be happy knowing I won a game, even if I didn't really know what I was doing. Yeah, I always enjoy hanging out with you guys, no matter what we end up playing. Thanks for inviting us, Donald, by the way. Yeah, and thank Melania again for the cookies. That was a good close game, Donnie. GG, my friend. Uh, Donald, you okay? I invite you all to my house just to be humiliated. Huh? My wife makes you cookies and you treat me so badly, I'd almost think you're working for the fake news media. Is this because you lost in Mortal Kombat? It's just a game, Donald. It's not that serious. Yeah, it was for fun. We didn't treat you badly at all. But we did beat you badly. Joe, get out of my house before I say something I regret. Donald, that's not fair. You don't treat your friends like that over a video game. This is how he gets when he doesn't take his medication. Shut it, Obama. I can't believe I lost to Sleepy Joe. How does something like that happen? I'm supposed to be the greatest, and that's not even the worst of it. I could handle losing to Joe. It was clearly rigged like the election. Then what's the problem? Oh, you want to know Obama, really? The problem is that I lost the game to a fucking nick. <laughs> oh no, Barack, I didn't mean it. It just slipped out, I swear. I never use that word. Some of my best friends are black, like Ben Carson. Dude. Just stop, Donald. Don't make it worse. Barry, uh, I'm so sorry. We cool though, right? Oh shit, Donald, what have you done? 
We're all gonna die here. Damn you, Donald, you racist prick. I'm sorry. Please, Barack, have mercy. Oh my god! No! My beautiful house! Reduced to rubble! <laughs> Did I do that? This is no laughing matter, Barack. Mar-a-Lago will take years to rebuild. I can't believe we made it out alive. Who knew Obama had that kind of raw power? Oh, you should have seen him when he was president. You think SEAL Team 6 took out bin Laden? No, he did it himself. I guess you've learned a valuable lesson, Donald. Yeah, never invite you over to play video games again. That's what you took from this? I mean, at least you can always go back to Trump Tower. Yeah, but my perfect gaming setup is gone, and it gets so cold in New York. Well, that sounds like a you problem. I'm gonna bounce before Melania comes home. Don't wanna see her reaction to this. Damn you, Barry. Yeah, I'm out of here too. Good luck, Donald. Don't worry, buddy, I'll stay with you. Wow, just great. Donald, what the fuck happened here? Uh, hurricane? A hurricane? You really expect me to believe a hurricane came and went during the time I was shopping? Uh, kinda. Joe, back me up here. Hurricane? I thought all of this happened because you called Obama the N-word. Joe, you idiot. You did what? Donald, you can't be calling people the N-word. It was a gamer moment, I swear. Everyone does it. I don't even know what that means. Forget it. I'm going back to New York with Baron. You find somewhere else to stay till I forgive you. But honey, it was Obama's fault. I don't want to hear it. Goodbye, Donald. Now what am I gonna do? I'm homeless! Maybe I can help you out. I have a place you can stay. Hell, we can even play video games together too. Joe, buddy, thank you. You're going to let me back into the White House, aren't you? I'll take Lincoln's bedroom. It was always the most comfortable. Oh, I've got something even better. Just you wait. Better, you say? All right, let's get a move on. Joe, what the fuck is this? Your new place. I don't use it much since I'm busy being president. So it's all yours. I'm even letting you use my ultra awesome gaming room. No need to thank me. I'll collect your rent whenever you're back on your feet. Rent? You expect me to pay to live in this pigsty? I mean, it's either that or live on the streets. Fuck my life. <laughs> 